Good morning. I think today looks like a great day to visit the Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon National Park is the 15th site in the United States to have been named as a national park. The park's central feature is the Grand Canyon, a gorge of the Colorado River, which is often considered one of the wonders of the world. Woohoo! We are in the park. They actually predicted some snow today, which wasn't in the original forecast, but right now it just seems partly cloudy with some sun. It's a beautiful day. We haven't even seen the canyon yet. There is a tiny glimpse of the Colorado River down below. This backdrop seriously looks unreal behind me. This is one of the most jaw-dropping places. There's no way that video or pictures will ever convey what it looks like in person. It's absolutely amazing. This trail that I'm currently on is called the Rim Trail. I believe it goes for about 12 miles, follows along the rim, and it's all paved, so it's good for all skill levels with just absolutely stunning views. Theodore Roosevelt said of the Grand Canyon, The Grand Canyon fills me with awe. It is beyond comparison, beyond description, absolutely unparalleled throughout the wide world. Let this great wonder of nature remain as it is now. Do nothing to mar its grandeur, sublimity, and loveliness. You cannot improve on it, but what you can do is keep it for your children, your children's children, and all who come after you as the one great sight which every American should see. to drink. I have not eaten anything today so I'll check out the Yapa Pie Lodge see if maybe they have some hot chocolate. I do have hot cocoa um, so if there's nothing appealing here I might just head to camp and uh, make myself some breakfast slash lunch and some hot chocolate. Inside Yavapai Lodge, you can enjoy a classic full bar at the Yavapai Tavern, featuring Arizona craft beer and a great selection of wine. The tavern offers a southwestern-inspired food menu, including flatbread pizzas, burgers, and street tacos. Let's go bring you up And of course there was a gift shop with Native American collectibles and souvenirs. Skittish. They're right here, right beside my camp. They don't even care that I'm here. There's another one walking right towards me. <laughs> Pretty awesome.
Oh, it was so cool seeing those deer. I always get excited seeing wildlife. No matter how many times I see deer, I get excited. And they were just not skittish. And a whole herd of them went right through the camp. Very cool. Last time I was at this campground, I saw elk. That'd be really awesome if I saw elk again as well. Funny story, back in 2019, I brought my rig here for the very first time on its maiden voyage. I wasn't even living in it yet. I still had my apartment. I hadn't remodeled it yet. I just decided to take it out and see how things went. If you're new to the channel, I live in this truck camper and uh, I live in it full time and I have been since 2019. So yeah, I brought it here in 2019. I was so green. I knew nothing about how it operated. I came here for a backpacking trip, which I'll link here. It was a really awesome, wild, crazy backpacking trip. Um, and uh, yeah, when we hiked out, it was in the low 20s. I had no idea how to use the furnace. It's kind of funny to think back on now. It's a, it's a good story. And now I think I kind of know what I'm doing. <laughs> I was really hoping for a beautiful sunny day. That was what was in the forecast originally. Uh, now tomorrow is supposed to be sunny, fingers crossed. I wanted to get a beautiful sunset tonight and some beautiful sunny shots. Uh, it did poke out for a little bit, so I'm grateful for that. However, I was hoping for a beautiful sunset. Um, I'm still gonna try. I'm still gonna go out there and, and see if I can find it. You never know. These clouds could part. You just, you never know. <laughs> uh, I am starving, however, so I'm gonna make myself something to eat. I was originally going to make some a breakfast type of meal, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and make tacos because it's one o'clock. And if I make tacos, I can use the leftovers for dinner tonight as well. So it will be dual purpose. I bought myself this set of Pendleton uh, notebooks at the gift shop for journaling. There are three of them in different patterns, pretty cool. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this is the best Mexican restaurant in the Grand Canyon. So good. Muy bueno. I think it's pretty freaking cool that I could be inside the Grand Canyon and be in my little home making lunch. The view inside's always the same. The view outside is ever changing and that's awesome. I think we're gonna go ahead and go explore. I didn't come here to sit at camp all day. Clouds or no clouds, let's go check out some awesome views. There are folks tent camping out here. That is hardcore.
like my timing was spot on. That was absolutely breathtaking. I, I can't even explain to you. I hope it comes across even a percentage of what it looks like in person. It is it's something that you have to see. I recommend that everybody see the Grand Canyon at least once in their lifetime. I really do. I'm currently at Grandview Point and this is a trailhead that my niece and I hiked out of back in 2019. It was already past dark. It was in the 20s, you know, well below freezing. We were exhausted and on the border of hypothermia and we got back up here and jumped into my rig and as I mentioned it was my maiden voyage and I didn't know anything about it we couldn't figure out how to get the heater on or I couldn't figure out how to get the heater on we just jumped into some warm clothes and got in the truck and turned on the heat is is on full blast and <laughs> then went over to uh, the lodge and uh, had something warm to drink it was in quite the experience Okay, so dinner tonight is my leftover taco meat and cheese, and I'm gonna make a quesadilla. Yum, that looks good. Maybe one more flip and in my belly. What a great afternoon it wound up being. I'm so excited that the sun came out and I love the mixture of sun and clouds and how it produces light and shades um, on that canyon and on all the walls. It's absolutely incredible. Unfortunately, it did get cloudy again before sunset. So I just came back here to camp and just uh, made dinner early and uh, got warm, <laughs> put my heater on. Uh, I think tomorrow morning my plan is to get up early and chase the sunrise. Hopefully we'll get a beautiful sunrise. It's supposed to only be partially cloudy in the morning. Uh, and then I guess it's going to be full sun later on as the day progresses, but morning partly cloudy and uh, that could make for some in interesting lighting uh, circumstances. So I'm excited and yeah, it's, it's neat to be here as a, you know, just kind of doing the tourist thing as opposed to backpacking because the last two trips I was here were backpacking trips and, and I will still say that the Grand Canyon backpacking trips are the hardest ones I've ever done in my life. Looking down into the canyon, I was kind of wishing I was on one, but let me tell you, it's too cold. I do not like backpacking in really cold temperatures. It's probably warmer down at the bottom, but anyhow, it's just nice to be here and, and see all this majestic beauty. I'm going to go ahead and call it a night here, get up bright and early, and go chase that sunrise. Over the years, I've become a morning person. It's when the day is its most peaceful and quiet. There's so much I would have missed out on had I not been an early riser, like what I would have missed out on this morning.
Well, I'd say that's a pretty epic morning, a Grand Canyon sunrise and a huge herd of elk. There were much more than what I showed you on camera. How cool. I mean, they were right there too. <laughs> Just awesome. It is so cold. It is 12 degrees right now and my toes, I can't feel my toes. I kept having to jump back in the camper and get right in front of the heater. Uh, in between shooting the sunrise uh, and unfortunately my pipes froze so if you watched a previous video where I said that I open up all my cabinets and keep my heat going all night in order to keep my pipes from freezing well it doesn't work when it's 12 degrees out <laughs> just uh, be cognizant of that and uh, yeah learn the hard way but it was worth it for this absolutely gorgeous morning and a chance to see that herd of elk i found a spot i scoped this spot out yesterday where i could just pull my rig right up to the edge of the rim and uh, that way i could sit in my camper in the heat until the sun came up and not be standing out on some point somewhere <laughs> freezing to death uh yeah it's just absolutely gorgeous However, I think I do need to get down to where the temps are warmer, so I will be moving back down south, try to thaw out these pipes, and hopefully I haven't done any major damage or anything. Um, I have a feeling everything will be okay once everything thaws out. I hope you enjoyed joining me. I really loved being back here in the Grand Canyon. It was a good time to come with, you know, very minimal crowds. Um, you can park anywhere you want it was that part of it was just awesome it's absolutely gorgeous with snow on the ground it's a good time to come as long as you don't mind being cold and it's actually going to be the low tomorrow is going to be three degrees <laughs> so yes it's time for me to move on Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you coming along and I appreciate your support as always. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and I will see you all on the next adventure. See you soon. Bye-bye.